welcome, my brave little hero. I've been waiting for you. But please, please, feel free to see anywhere. I wouldn't want you to stand too long after all you've been through to get here. Yes, you see, I received word of your little cover invasion from my scouts quite some time ago. I can say that I've seen many heroes band together for a single mission before. <laughs> and here I thought you usually left that sort of coordination to go on soldiers. However, that being said... I also didn't expect you to take so long reaching the heart of my lair. Maybe you've had a dash of caution in the midst of this daring mission. Looked around every corner, behind every curtain, cleared every hallway. Hmm. Picking off my talented guards one by one. As a team, perhaps. Tell me, little hero, how long did it take you to realize that you were being picked off in return? Hmm. Maybe halfway through the track, a third of the way. It must have surely been far too deep to turn back by the time the truth set in. Hmm. Must have been a nerve and terrifying, even, to walk deeper and deeper into the lion's den without the slightest idea of which one of you would die next. Though I suppose your heroic types don't acknowledge your own fears. Do you? <laughs> Only those as unfathomably foolish and hopeful as your kind would try directly storming through my stronghold. Although, I must admire your tenacity. How many of my men were forced to fight off once it was only you long standing against them? Hmm? It must have been a high number for you to stand before me so breathless, battered, with only your sword wavering in your hands. <laughs> Would it hurt your precious little ego if I've told you it was only to my orders that you stand before me now? I made clear that if anyone survive past the floor before my throne room, they were to be given the honor of challenging me face to face. And lo and behold, it was you out of all of them who made it through to the bitter end. <laughs> I had no doubts. After all, how many were the times you struggled and fought for this very opportunity? My demonic eyes see much at a time, more so than any mortals could comprehend, little child. Especially including those who are a particular kind of threat of a certain character. Even a young village child who throws rocks at my head as the gal of a true hero in the making. Would you not agree? And yet, not all brave children shape their lives around bringing down the demon lord who worked it as demons do in their village. 
I've seen you grow stronger and daring by the year. Took note of your progress each time you tracked down or opposed me. Bravery, folly, a soul intertwined. I often confuse one for the other, especially in regards to those like you, who are blinded by their utter nobility. Although, I do find it fascinating. Otherwise, you'd have been disposed long ago. Each time I've left you alive, I was curious. <laughs> Wait to see if I'd finally break your resolve to kill me. <laughs> But there was always the next time, and a time after that, and again, and again. It was certainly entertaining, until it became tiredly predictable. Are you not tired of this as well, the little hero? Have you not chased me to and from across the earth? Stubbornly seeing me when so many others have just given up. Have you not frittered away your best days in pursuit of a cause you do not understand truly? In your age, you should be enjoying the sweetest of the offerings of life, not wasting your time chasing. The single target. I do not often see someone of your kind remain so fiercely dedicated to the Han for so long. It is truly really admirable, in a way. <laughs> On the other hand, look where it finally brought you. There's sneaking about and using reinforcements. So reckless and desperate. Such a pathetic reflection on you, little hero. Just look at yourself. Tell me how much of that blood is actually yours. How long has it been since you were able to just catch your breath? When will you seize your circling god and fall to your knees before me? <laughs> you are fighting so hard to just stay on your feet. Even harder to come and strike at me. And for what? To avenge the mischiefs that I've laid upon your innocent little birthplace countless years ago. Tell me, little human, how many of you even recall what happened all those years ago? Do you even know what you're fighting for? Hmm? <laughs> to protect your people from me. <laughs> and tell me, Oh, great hero of the people, whatever they have done to repay you for all of your struggles, all of those times you fought for them, blood and suffering, all for their sake. Have they ever rewarded you? Have they heaped you with riches or sang you? Praises in their gratitude. Has your life been comfortable? <laughs> Wanted for nothing? Or has your bravery and nobility only ever been paid for with venerating words, meaningless thanks and praises that can be spent on food or clothing? To say nothing of simple pleasures.
Any charity do receive must feel counterproductive. In the end, it's not but selfishness. In the world of my rule, noble deeds are praised. The noble ones given every benefit that is their right and due. For a hero as loyal and determined as you, you want for nothing beneath my rule. Indeed, I will treat you far better than your own kind has. And truly disgusting. For all that you've sacrificed till now is yet another mission where the odds are grossly against you. Even your strength, body, and youth are such ungrateful people. It's such a waste. <laughs> Do not doubt that heroism is its own reward, nonsense. When you breath away from collapsing. Maybe at some point you believe it. But now... <laughs> It must be pretty obvious how unfair your life has been. You're not wary of this fight. I admit, I am. I do not have to leave your life each time we fought. But I, I was born, little hero. So tragically bored and lost it. For a challenge, an activity, a hobby, you could say. After seeing what you have become in pursuit of me, battling against you is no longer thrilling. Then there is no question between us on who will be the victor. You're hanging by a thread, a long wary. I could probably finish you off with one of my clawed hands. Come on, try and hit me. I'm here. All my defenses are down. Even if you did have any amount of fight left in you, I doubt it would last very long. And it would be a shame to end you after all we've been through together. I truly hate wasting valuable things. And you, you could be quite valuable to me. I know that you would never consider surrendering yourself to me of your own accord, unless I could offer you some proper compensation. If you sincerely wish for your people to be safe from me, I could offer a period of reprise for my dalliances upon your kind. And in return, you must give yourself to me one final sacrifice on their behalf. If you are truly Selfish as you claim. <laughs> Little hero, if I had any intentions of ending your life, I would have done it a long time ago. Did I not say it would be a waste? <laughs> no. I will take you as my own and not distress the rest of your kind with the remainder of your natural life it has been far too long since I've kept a human as a pet. No, oh, hush. Do not swing your useless weapon at me, little hero. It is time to have done with it, don't you think so? A holy sore. <laughs> Nothing but garbage. 
Now don't struggle, little hero. As I am sure you are aware, I have bit out your app and you cannot fight against my strength. And I won't be letting you go until you hear me out. The cost of peace of your people is not cheap, but neither will it be dreadful. It is quite an honor to be favored by the king of demons. Many would die to be in your place. As my loyal pet, you and every whim provided for. I'll keep you in luxury for the rest of your days. I would treat you kindly, for I want plenty. Knows very well than me. I've seen with my own eyes just how committed you can be to your own cause. Now you only need to shift that commitment to me and me alone. I shall lavish you with rewards for your bravery. Ability. Such rewards as you cannot currently even imagine. I have been without a bed for far too long, and I'm way overdue to spoil one.